Alright ladies and gents, welcome back to Skyrim and we've had a nice rest in the Bannered Mayor. It is currently very early in the morning. It's 6 o'clock and uh, we're heading to Riverwood first to recruit Fane Down before heading off to Bleak Falls Bar. No. <laughs> before that, I might head to the temple of uh okay. just to get a quick buff to my health. And there's a quick buff to my health. Naveen? What do you need? Do you wanna also have a quick buff to your health? Okay, got it. Might save your life. Anything else? Yeah, one quick thing. Tweak options. Info. Auto level up. When you level up. You. So look, so <coughs> she's 31, 100, 200, crap, archery, crap, heavy armor, 32, okay, light armor of 26, so she's better with heavy armor than she's light armor, that's bizarre, block 15, so she's not very good with that, sneak 21, alright, pickpocketing, lot picking, smithing, speech, all these are 15, apart from conjuration which is 26, Alteration 26, Enchanting 15, Destruction 31, Oof. Illusion 15, and uh, Restoration of 21. Okay, so she's not a bad uh, character all around, is she? Um, perks, what perks does she have? She has the one handed, uh, she has no perks actually. So these are her skills here Sneak, Block, Archery, Heavy Armor, Light Armor. 200, 100, 102 pages. Can I use these? Okay. Ah, right, okay, yeah, I see. I see, it was two pages. Destruction. She has apprentice level destruction magic. That's good. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Uh, move out. So she's apprentice level destruction, eh? I don't get why she's wearing light. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's that crown she's wearing. Yeah. I want you in uh, light armor, basically. So I'm gonna. What do you want me carrying? <coughs> Naveen is going to gift this crown to uh, Rorik. <laughs> Just as she gifted the arrows. It looked weird with Ada on that. That's, that's quite bizarre. Let's see here. What does Rorik look like with it on? I'm keeping the fur armor for Feindel. Before anyone starts wondering. Oh no, actually, I, I don't mind a crane on a guy. <laughs> Not a tiara, I suppose. Alright, anyway, so let's get to. Uh, I apologise for flickering with night vision, I'm just trying to see when I can see clear enough to, you know, comfortably run so that, you know, you guys aren't seeing this constant night vision. I'm hoping it'll come in handy because YouTube does render videos darker than uh, what I play them. So unless I do a little bit of editing to tweak the brightness, then they're going to be fairly dark on the video as well, which means this night vision will come in handy for you guys too. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so let's see how much iron arrows I've got. Iron arrows I've got 676. Oh, that's plenty, isn't it? Let's actually just wait for uh, Naveen to catch up. 
And then, uh, <laughs> let's see what a heavy armor is. Oh, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll continue on. And we'll see what a heavy armor is when we come around. Go in the river and just follow that, but I don't want to get too wet. It might be a bit chilly today. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, see, I don't want to get too wet. I just want to have a look at your info. Info, let's see if your heavy arm has gone down. You. Yeah, it's gone down C to 15. So it was this um, crown let's that get was going. putting her heavy, heavy armor up. in the eye. So um, just a quick note as well, I'm wearing this crown cause, because um, I have added a mod where I can wear crowns with hoods, so like the hoods from wet and cold and uh, frostfall, I can wear with crowns. Sorry, for some reason not the vanilla hoods, I don't quite understand that, but there you go. It makes for a very powerful mage if you've got it enchanted. I don't know how much. I've got another character that's got a uh, circle that gives him like, a massive boost to his magicka and a uh, hood which gives him a massive discount to destruction. So, <laughs> well, might be the way I think it's the way around actually, but either way, you can cast destruction spells almost non stop. Shall we bother going again, Fender? I think we should. For the cause. <laughs> so, uh, let's carry on anyway. Rorik is heading back to Riverwood. And he's decided he needs an archer in his party. He's already got a close up spell sword, so, uh,. We need someone who can hit them from range. That's so his uh, train of thought was. Six in the morning. Well, I didn't even be up. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the mill where we last saw him. Good, my footsteps are heavy. Alright, do not appear to be here? That's a giant log. Um, let's try and find his house. I think I know where his house is, but uh, Rorik does not. <laughs> that said, he's heading right towards it. It's a shame we can't knock at the people's doors, isn't it? Um, actually, it's six in the morning. Maybe we could go without him. And, you know, let's make a mess of the street while we're here, shall we? Okay. Into the stream again. Get away. So just float down the street. Yeah. I don't know 
Is it still raining now? Not at all. I don't think it is. It says the air is pleasant. Hmm. I left armor well. Iron may be simple, but it will stop enough to keep you in the fight. You see the hook though. I like you in the hook. Oh. Did I see who I thought I saw? I did, yes. Excuse me. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe never mind. But I would stay away from him if no, I No 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 dude 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 dude. I can help you out here. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. Or what is your you. problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. <laughs> you hope? You don't seem very sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Very well. In return, you can join me um, in Bleak Falls Barrow. Yes, Very deal. Well. Okay. <laughs> so we need to speak to Camilla Valerius, and I do believe that the local trader is owned by the Valerius brother and sister. So, uh, I can only assume that you are Camilla Valerius. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Mm, I have a letter here for, for you from Spain. Another poem, I bet. Mm -hmm. He does know how to make a girl blush. Does he? What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. <sighs> well, that was, uh, remarkably easy, wasn't it? Go on to bean, stop using the cooking pot. Alright, now we have to find Fandal again. Must have saw he's heading this way, so... So maybe he's uh, over here somewhere? Did I seriously walk past him last time? New to Riverwood? No. If you're looking for work, go see a pot at the mill. I'm looking for fame though, actually. Uh, not work. Ooh. Tell me, as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. Still here. There's beauty okay. here, unmatched in all of um, Skyrim, to be sure. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with. Uh, I appreciate your help, Sven. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I expect you come with us. We could do with your Lead help. The way. There we go. We now have a new follower. What is it? I'm right behind you. So let us just tweak a couple of options with him. Combat. We want you on bow and arrow only. This will disable magic. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I use has been dis Okay, um That's the end of this part. Don't forget to join me in the next part for some more Skyrim. See you soon. Later.